Hello, my beautiful warriors of love and light, and welcome to this pick a card reading. Today, I'm doing a good morning reading. The premise of it is, is that I have seven days of the week here, so every day you can come and pick one card, so you'll have like a weekly reading right here, and you can, you don't have to necessarily do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can if you want, but you can come and pick the sunstone first, and then go pick the amethyst the second day, and however you wish or you can keep going with the same stone if you wish <laughs> so it's a um, fun reading I'm going to also do a good night reading so right before you go to bed you can pull pick a card again it's the same premise with seven days in the week it's a timeless reading so whenever you find this it's meant for you um, again these are all general readings so they if they don't resonate with you go ahead and pick another card or you can go and pick another pick a card reading so I will let you know what these beautiful stones are. The first stone is a lapis lazuli. The second card is a sunstone. The third card is a yellow jade. The fourth card is a smoky quartz. The fifth card is sardonyx. The sixth is a clear quartz. And the seventh is amethyst. All right, so I will leave you a few minutes to Meditate on the cards, on the stones, however you wish. Just you, you know that you have seven days to pick the other cards as well. I love you. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. So for those of you who picked this beautiful lapis, let us go straight into this reading. So good morning, and I hope you're having a great day. So before you start your morning, let's see what the overall energy is. Whoa, scarab, beetle spirit, magic works through you. That is a beautiful card. The scarab is in, in ancient Egypt. It was a good luck sign. And this is like a, a message for you that spirit is telling you they have great potential in your life. And it's basically saying that you can accomplish anything you desire. So this morning looks good for you. So let's see what the cards have to say. So I'm doing a spread. The first card is the, to represent the energy this morning, but we already see that it's beautiful. Let's see what's happening here. Wheel of Fortune. The energy is nice, so that means a Wheel of Fortune card is ruled by Jupiter. It's all about luck, abundance, expansion, so it feels very good. The 10, we can always calculate it down to a 1, which is a new beginning, so there's a fresh start for you this morning. We feel like uh, you, it's, um, opportunities are endless for you, so it's almost like take advantage of this energy, which feels good already because there's magic here, There's so whether... Um, you're getting up to work or you're starting like to study or you're just getting up and going for a walk in this morning or you're um, doing nothing doesn't really matter because it feels um, like the stars are around you like the planets are aligned for you today it feels really positive so the second card is what should you be aware of today and we get the hermit in reverse so the Hermit in Reverse, we know the Hermit card is about going within and reverse. There's something that you are you might uh, encounter. You have maybe some resistance to advice that's coming your way. Uh, it's maybe telling you to uh, be open to whatever um, advice or um, suggestions or recommendations come your way. And maybe you feel like, I know this already, or you feel like, you don't need advice, but let it come, let it flow through, right? Even if you don't, you don't have to go with this advice. It could be a work-related advice, could be relationship advice, could be whatever it is. But let it flow through. And then there's some of you that might be doing a lot of inner work, but almost alienating people from coming in. So you're 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 um, not allowing people to come in. You have your but you have this energy of um, expansion right next to you and you have this energy of creative magic right next to you as well. So it's almost like saying, um, 
when these feelings arise with you today, try to find a way out of it. So you might, because you might miss out on an opportunity that's coming your way. So if you're, if you're, you want it, you want it to be alone, great. But uh, keep your lines open, keep your aura open. Maybe there's something coming your way and you, you're gonna lose out because you're wanting to uh, stay away from people. How can you have the best day possible? Ace of Swords, baby. <laughs> That's a great. Ace of Swords is like new beginnings. Communication. Interesting. So how you can have the best day for it is for you to open the lines of communication. Open. Um, you don't need to necessarily talk to people, but maybe check your emails. Maybe there's a message coming in through your text message. Maybe, if, maybe someone from your past is going to call you. And you're like, why is this person calling me? Maybe it's your time, it's your opportunity to pick up that phone today. So just be aware of what is happening to you and as far as like um, someone trying to reach out to you or maybe um, it, it also feels like some of you might be uh, writing a book and it feels it's saying, you know what, you're wanting to go in and write your book, then do that. But also be aware that there's, oh, actually, it's like, you don't have to only be writing a book, but because it, it's like communication, but it, whatever you're doing, if you're doing something creative or you're doing something with words and numbers or something, there's this feeling that there's an opportunity coming to you today. And um, to try not to be, um, try to uh, open your uh, space, open the energy allow things to come in. So something to keep in mind today, chariot in reverse. The chariot card is all about fast movement. In reverse, there's a delay. In reverse is releasing maybe some ego. Interesting. So today, the message is, is all about you, um, something great is coming towards you. Try not to resist it. Try to be open to ideas that are coming in, whether it's a, co a colleague from work, whether it's a student, whether you're um, just a friend calling you and sparking something new. Pay attention to the signs that are coming towards you. Listen, because the whatever it is that's coming, Ace of Air is like, is your chance to jump on it. it. It might open a new project for you. It might open you an, a new avenue for you. It feels really positive. And then the chariot it, energy is like an energy of, of like a little bit of a delay, maybe a little bit of setback, but also maybe, uh, like I said, the chariot could also be a, an ego card. So it could be um, let go of your hangups, uh, come from your heart space when this opportunity comes to you today and stop thinking so much about, well, why is this person coming to me? Why is this happening? What, I don't deserve it. Instead, let's be worthy of it. Let's like uh, harness our creative energy. Let's, the, the scarab was revered in ancient Egypt. Let's like find that, um, the beauty of that again. Let's find that power position. So, woo, today seems really good to me. Just having to deal with a little bit of ego, which is normal, and having to deal with a little bit of a resistance. Overcome that, and greatness is coming to you, towards you. It's really beautiful. So, there's like 19 plus 7 is 26, 27. It's 9. It's the... Nine and a nine is an end of a journey, and then nine plus seven is sixteen. Seven. It's like, wow, this is a seven card. So, and then if I put them all together, it's a seven. So it's having faith in yourself, and seven is a active number. So there's, so do, um, just be open, open your eyes, open your ears, open, be open to whatever the energy is coming towards you. I've always protect your energy, of course. But let go of uh, any nay, nay saying that's happening in your mind or it's, it feels really good. 
it could be there's a heart here could be love related could be a lot of things so i'm curious to know if this happens you can always leave in the comments the next day and uh let me move on to the next day <laughs> so uh, have a great morning i love you bye hello pile number two and good morning so let us see what the energy of the day is bringing you this morning and we'll pick this card first elephant spirit how beautiful learn from the past two plus five is seven so seven is a beautiful number it's all about having faith in yourself but learning from the past the elephants elephants have amazing memory they remember people they remember everyone that comes close to them they are a loving beautiful uh, animal species learning from the past could, could be you there's a message coming through that you need to listen to your elders listen to um, maybe if you're on this journey and you're like connected to spirit there's maybe you're gonna get some messages today Wow, let's see what's going on. Maybe you're going to get a message from your past life. It's possible. Okay, let's see what's going on. So, first card is what represents your energy this morning. <laughs> okay, Lava's card. That's awesome. Six. This feels um, you're going to be full of joy. Um, maybe some of you are having a it's just started a new relationship or maybe you're rekindling your relationship and it feels really positive it feels like there's a lot of love around you it doesn't have to be that it could also be a lot of self-love a lot of you are working on yourselves and today you're going to go that extra mile you're going to um maybe they're asking for a lot more self-love a lot of more self-care right now is so important this to uh neutralize the energies out there it feels uh with this lion and her here it feels like even friendships are gonna maybe you're gonna spend maybe it's a, a message to go spend out time outside or with your friends and socialize even in those a lot of us are in lockdown mode doesn't matter go out and do it enjoy yourselves um I don't know, it feels really good, this energy. Learning from your past could be someone coming in from your past. A past lover could be, um, again, though, because it says love, it could even just be like, maybe you need to go and see your grandmother or grandfather or your parents or someone that's uh, older and wiser and learn from them today. Maybe that's coming in towards you. So pay attention to this. I love it. What should you be aware of today? Oh my God, two of cups. <laughs> wow, man. What you should be aware of is that love is coming in. Maybe you're going to meet your soulmate today, people. <laughs> I mean, even if you're married or with partner, something is going to happen in your relationship. It's going to augment. It's going to um, flourish. And even if, like don't force the situation just watch things happen as they flow today but the two of water is also duality right it's like two uh, energies coming together so there could also be um like i said friends uh, you coming together with friends uh, but this thing from the past is interesting could be someone from your past it could be a past lifetime twin flame soulmate coming in today and it's like, it's going to like take you by surprise, maybe. Maybe it's your partner and it's, this is confirmation that it is so. Um, I just feel like some of you are going to learn some interesting information about past life, a past lover today. Wow. Okay. How can you have the best day possible? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I kind of like this. You know why? Because the Seven of Earth is all about you patiently waiting for something. And here it's saying, don't sit around waiting for things to happen. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> it's like almost saying it's time to act. So 
this could be like you're interested in somebody you've like been interested in someone for a long time and it now the seven of pentacles is coming to say okay learn from your past you waiting around waiting around never think nothing ever happened make the first move you're interested in someone or you just want to be friends with someone or you just want to reach out to someone that has the same interest as you do it if it's all about you finding your uh, love within yourself your soul then do that but it this learn from the past feels like that you need to remember what didn't work in the past and maybe do something different the last card is something to keep in mind today wow the nine of pentacles baby <laughs> this is like financial independence it's, she feels like she's like completely satisfied in her her aura feels really good the pentacles are there's coins all around there's money there's abundance around you like the trajectory today towards feeling oneness with yourself feeling good about your decision of reaching out to this person or um saying i love you to your husband or your wife or just i feel like there's this just beautiful feeling today for you uh show your show love to other people show love to yourself today um be proactive instead of waiting around for it to come to you like reach out to people that you love and uh, sh share the love with them today i feel like something's gonna come to you maybe at the end of the day or on the beginning of the day but like as far as money or um just even abundance in the sense like of love and of, of coming together, feeling really good about yourself because you've shared the love with maybe an older person. But like I like to learn from the past, don't like start with a new mind today. Wow, let's see if someone meets a tin flame today. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, look at what's on at the bottom of the deck is the 10 of pentacles. Like there's this feeling of money that's coming towards you. So uh, this is, looks like a good day to me. I hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you um, on another day. I love you. Bye. Good morning, pile number three. So let's see what your overall energy of the day is and what we can do to better your day. This is yellow jade put it here with the rest of them let's see what we got here be spirit sweet results awaits how beautiful this is a seven card it's so interesting one and two was 52 and 25 all sevens oh so far so seven is all about faith and yourself uh, finding that power to stand on your own so sweet results await this card is um you're being rewarded by creator, by God, by source. But there's also this like um, part of it that's asking you to release a, your ego a bit, that you might be feeling a bit, um, maybe you're too much into your head. You've been in the past few days and today they're asking, we need to like step out of that. Reward and rec recognition is coming your way. So let's see what the cards have for you. What's what represents your mood today? Messenger of water in reverse, which is the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Cups is that romantic lover card, and this one in reverse comes in. So right away, when a reversal comes in with the water, which is Cups energy, it's emotions. So some of you are feeling down and out a bit. You're feeling uh, maybe a bit taken advantage of. Your energy feels depleted to me right now. So it, it could feel like there's a delay in a relationship, like you've started a relationship with someone and maybe there's a delay in it or maybe um, things started off really good for you in a relationship or maybe you could be in a relationship and it's like it's just um, at a stagnancy at this moment. We wish that everything could always be of like uh, <laughs> optimal best, but sometimes we do find this. So there's this like feeling of some someone came uh, 
proposed love to you or marriage to you and now they're go they're ghosting you kind of thing it feels like that here or it could be you doing that to yourself like you're not showing the love the self-love that you need to be showing yourself and maybe it, it has to ties in with that ego so let's see what else there is what should you be aware of today the five of wands interesting energy right now because the five of wands energy is this competitive energy maybe there's someone around you that is, is is the result of this delay in relationship or there's like someone else like causing a snag in the relationship whether it's you're married already or partnered in a friendship or whatever it is it's like there's this uh, external influence coming in and it's almost like if you see her she's sitting very peacefully here and all these um flowers are lit up on fire blazing on top of her but she's choosing to be still so maybe there's a, there's a message here to, to for you to um not to fight with yourself about this and maybe let things uh go today and let things play out the way they uh, are destined to play out because you, you you're you can't fix the situation. Sometimes we just can't always like go in and fix the problems. If, if it's someone else that's doing that to you, that's their problem. And, uh, let's continue with seeing this. Here. How can you have the best day ever? Wow. Okay. The, the devil in reverse. I mean, the devil in the devil card is all about um, letting go of obsessions, letting go of your ego, releasing all the. Um, heavy energies around you so today they're asking you to there there you might be facing conflict today and it could be like because i know today like if it's a day it's like a tuesday yeah, you're here <laughs> it could be like uh you're at work right so there could be someone in your workspace that is causing you uh, to be confrontational with you but you're being asked to like let that go let that that person uh release his e like release your ego when the, when you're being confronted with this person and their issues i'm feeling this very i don't know if it's a work thing a love thing um a personal thing it could also be a personal journey of yours that you're needing you're you're kind of stuck when it comes to love and you're not allowing love to come in and you have like um maybe a lot of suitors or maybe um your parents or your family members saying why don't you find love i just feel like there's this and you're like wow man i, I don't have to deal, be dealing with all these extra external issues i already have to deal with mine so there's this feeling of letting all that go but i feel like the devil in reverse card coming in here is help is saying that you need to uh like I said, like find a time to go quiet and within and find that um, clarity in this alone time without letting these other issues that are maybe not even yours, let them go. So something to keep in mind today is the five of cups in reverse. So the five of cups is like this card of um, hopelessness and anxiety despair but it's in reverse so it's like again there's some work to do today some um emotional work that you need to be doing to release some of your uh, frustration release some of your uh, sadness or some of your um, discontent some some of you are like struggling with yourselves trying to understand a relationship trying to understand a um partner a colleague or something and you, it's just you keep fighting with each other and it's like here they're just saying you know what today let's find a way to um be true to yourself go into your heart uh, let go of all the this low energies it's not it's not helping you out but look this is like sweet results await so and it, it all comes down to that because it's like let that ego go once you let that ego go and you come in from your heart, something expansive will happen for you.
It feels really good. 5, 20, 25. Oh my God. 25 is seven. Like this is, wow, there's seven is a, your lucky number. <laughs> I should have told Pau one and two, but seven is your lucky number. So, seven plus seven is 14, so it could be also five which makes sense because there's a lot of these fives here. Five, five, right? Fives are like extremes happening in your life. Like you, uh, you f like I, I feel some of you f really feel like you're in a good place and then sometimes you wake up and you're in this like place of no return. That's how I'm feeling for some of you. But know that it's temporary. So um, go through the feeling, go through the... Uh, low energy uh, forgive it let it go sweet results await i hope this helped you because it's good that it's coming in the morning it'll help you clear your mind go into meditation uh, go into mindfulness right now and do some affirmations after this and go into your heart i love you and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> bye hello pal number four good morning so for those of you who picked the smoky quartz, let's see how your morning is going to go. The overall energy, we got the swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. 60, so six is all about harmony, relationships. But time for a deep dive. Time, this is interesting. So a lot of you are getting this message for uh, some of you are being surface about uh, situations in your life. You're not going deep into the profundity of your situation, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a work thing, whether it's a, um, an issue that you're having when it comes to um, a, a, someone in your life, like a friend, or there's this, or you're not going, you're not going, looking deep inside your soul. You're not, um, they're being, you're asked, they're being, you're being asked to um, go deeper into a, your, journey personal journey your awakening journey your emotional interesting okay let's see what is going on today so what's your card to represent this? Ooh, the magician the magician is all a creator energy it's a manifester you have you can make your dreams come true today there's this feeling of you maybe they're asking you to take a deep dive into your uh uh, creator self to realize how powerful a being that you are that you can manifest anything in your life you have that power to do that and maybe some of you don't know how powerful you are and that's why the magician is showing up here interesting one card is new beginnings so let's see what's going on what should you be aware of today the four of cups energy Four of Cups is someone who feels down and out a bit, but in reverse, it's like there's a hidden blessing coming your way, coming from someone that you might not even realize. Pay attention today with this magician energy, which is ma magic, right? It's coming out of nowhere. Something that is um, in the unknown, kind of. That's a magician. You can always picture that, right? He's like a hidden talents right it's not always out there what they do so I feel like something is rumbling and coming out from that you would never expect it maybe it could be love could be someone's gonna come today and call you up and say hey you want to hang and it's like someone that you would never have thought it would be or it could be you getting closer to your spiritual gifts it's gonna show up today maybe you're gonna feel a nudge maybe you're gonna get a see a light you're gonna it's just like maybe you're gonna see like synchronistic numbers more than ever today but there's this feeling of new something fresh coming in and they're asking you to dive deep when you do feel or see this how can i have the best day possible five of cups in reverse five of cups is like this lack like poverty consciousness energy and the five of cups in reverse is like you releasing yourself from that it's asking you to it's like a renewed uh, sense of optimism so i feel like some of you here 
today you're being asked to go deep into your soul and find that power that you are. Go deep into your soul and um, or your heart space or even go into like boost that confidence of yours like if you have to do a project or you have to um, do a presentation today like wave that wand and and get and re get that like um, confidence back that you can do it re like motivate yourself get yourself out of this like no I can't do this mode get yourself out of this like lack mode it feels actually very positive I feel like some of you are not feeling um, worthy or um, like you don't have the like everyone else around you is like spiritually gifted or everyone else around you is like it's so easy for them to make a presentation so everyone else around you is like and you you're always struggling but here I feel like it's like being released but you need to do some of the work so something to keep in mind today fool in reverse the full card is all about taking the risk, starting things new, fresh. But I, I understand what that full card in reverse is like. You don't need to be doing something new today. You just need to uh, believe in your power of the now moments because that's what you have right now. You don't need to um, veer your attention towards something completely um, unknown to you. Because I think what the message is to hear today is um, card number four, is that you have the power inside you and they're wanting you to start honing in on it by releasing this lack, by releasing your anxiety, by taking that dive and accepting the blessings that are coming to you, accept the responsibility that comes with that and um, living in the now, here and now. So pay attention today, I love it. And, and if you need to go a bit di uh, deeper into your strengths, then so be it. Find that time today, take uh, 10 minutes, take 15 minutes, take an hour today to listen closely to your heart, listen closely to your um, intuition as a magician would. All right, pile number four. It's got some work to do, but it feels really good. So I will see you another day. I love you, bye. Hello, pile number four. Good morning, I hope you're gonna have a beautiful day today. This is your sardonyx stone. We'll add it here or here, whoever wants to take it. So let's see the overall energy of the day is the buffalo spirit. That's really beautiful. The abundant universe will provide. This is all about gratitude. Being grateful for what the universe is offering you. Being grateful every morning. So this, this morning, you can be, uh, after this card, you can do a gratitude list. Um, I don't know if you've ever done one, but in the mornings, I always turn around and say, I'm grateful for my pillow, I'm grateful for my bed, I'm grateful for the sunlight. If it's um, empowering, it also engages your cells inside you, your, cell your cellular structure to actually wake up in the morning for you, and it helps with the day. So um, in the indigenous tribes, buffalo was very um, pertinent in their tribe. It was very, it was, whenever a buffalo came to them, they, um, they felt like it was a gift from the gods because they uh, did everything with, they used every part of the buffalo. They, did, they ate the, the meat, they used the bones, they used every single, the hide. So it was, it's like a, it's a, gracious gift from God so this is beautiful energy and the 10 is one one is a, be a new beginning so let's see what's going on here what's the energy of this morning we have the page of wands page of wands energy is like this um, again it's wow it's like new beginning a new project some of you maybe are working on something 
uh, you're starting a new business, you're starting a, a new project at work uh, or at school, you're doing something new, creative. You know, it's a rainbow child, it's beautiful. Like there's this feeling of newness. Maybe you're newly awakening on this journey and it's very exciting to you and you feel very um, electrified, which is understandable. But there's this feeling of, of um, excitement and thrill. So this is morning is starting out amazing already. What should you be aware of today? King of Earth. We got a Taurus card here. We have a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius card here. So the King of Earth is someone uh, maybe maybe you're starting something new with somebody in your life. Maybe there's a uh, you're being asked to seek uh, practical advice or about uh, business or money. Um, the King of Earth is very um, grounded and rooted and very ent entrepreneurial. They Maybe you're in, going into business with somebody, so this could be a teacher of yours, or this could be a mentor, like I said, or a boss, or a, um, a friend. It just feels very uh, solid. It feels like the, the route that you're going is great. There's this feeling of um, newness, like abundance can be yours. So how can I have the best day possible? The world in reverse. Interesting card to have in reverse. The world is like a completion card. It's like you're, you're, you're ending a journey and you're starting a new journey, but in reverse, it's you're holding off. Could also be that, like, let's say you had, you had started a project uh, during this lockdown or whenever this past year, this is a timeless reading, so I apologize if you're here in 2023 and you're like, what? <laughs> There's no lockdown anymore, but this is 2021. So, um... You started a, a, a project and you, um, with a, a, a partner or someone's helping you and it's it, with the plans are being set, they're, they're put down on paper and you're ready to go, but um, there's border issues that you can't travel and you need to travel for this job or you can't, you're, you're un, unable to do a next step in this whatever it is that you're working on here and it's like impeding you from continuing this the world is ruled by saturn it's all about like limitations it almost feels like maybe you're releasing yourself from they're asking you to think of something new think of something be creative and like um imagine something new because two and uh, 21 is a three card it's like creativity it's expression cooperation maybe they're asking you to cooperate with others so there's a lot of interesting messages here let's see what's this, something to keep in mind today ace of pentacles in reverse interesting so this means there is like okay okay all right all right all right now this changes everything because maybe you did start something with someone and now all these cards here is like, maybe it's not the greatest thing in the world for the moment. And maybe it's good that the, um, you can't travel too much or you can't import or you can't export if things are expensive because um, at the moment, it's not a good idea to do this, whatever it is, this business or investment. Today is not a good day, because oh, today, it's just a today card, right? Today is not a good day to uh, invest in the, your business, to put money there, or to make decisions about business. That's what it is. So, if, because I feel like it's a great idea, I just, and I, I feel like you need to be looking outside of the box, but because this card comes out and I don't want, and I feel like today is, 
it's just that warning of be careful of where you put your money, be careful where you're investing your money, be careful of um, clashing with uh, said uh, colleagues or partners or whatever. There, there's but the long term ace of pentacles is like prosperity is coming your way, like abundance is yours, it will pr be provided for you. But like I said, today is not a good day. But keep at your, your creativity. Keep at organizing and planning and doing that business plan or whatever it is. If you're doing a project with someone else, keep working at it. But beware of um, investing too much of yourself in it. Let's say if you're at school, you're putting too much, you're giving too much of your effort. Like, like let's tone it down a notch. This is what I'm feeling. All right, today. All right, today. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, come and see me tomorrow, I guess, or the next day. And um, be good today. You're going to, you, not every day can be like happy, happy, joy, joy. Today, is, it, it feels good, but just be aware of um, where you put money or your uh, finances or material or physical. All right. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, pile number six and welcome to your um, daily reading. Good morning. Um, for those of you who picked the clear quartz, let's see what your overall energy of the day is. We got the cat spirit. Claim your independence. So what does that feel like? love that there's like a butterfly here claim your independence means some of you are being asked to uh, maybe you're too dependent on somebody or someone is dependent on you and you're being asked to like walk away from someone and just gain your uh, freedom again maybe allow uh, space between you and other people because they're too uh, leechy on you they're taking away a lot of your energy they're sucking you dry, maybe. They're, um, maybe you have energy feeders all, all around you, and it's like you need to separate from this. You know, some of you could be energy healers, some of you could be readers, or, uh, or just even empathic people, and who people like are attracted towards you because they sponge off your energy and you don't realize it until like much too late and i feel like this is the card it's saying be like a cat right the cat doesn't care he just walks away <laughs> so let's see what's going on here what is the energy of the day so we get the strength in reverse which is an interesting card that comes out with this because the strength card is about bravery and courage and here you're feeling um like people are walking all over you. Like people are taking advantage of your energy. People are taking advantage of your knowledge of you. And the, the, the strength in reverse is all about you strengthening these boundaries again. It's like your emotional boundaries are being um, infringed upon. Interesting that this all came out like this. And they're both cats. <laughs> Right. So let's see what you should be aware of today. The five of pentacles in reverse. Uh-huh. I mean, right away it feels like not only are they sponging off of you energetically, but also maybe monetarily, financially. There's someone that's taking advantage of your money um, or your resources. Like, you don't have to have all the money in the world, but if your resource is at being an energy healer, then that's like, that's the same idea here. Or if you are, you don't have to be an energy healer. It could be anything, even at work. If, if there's some, there's a colleague that's like um, helicoptering you or that your boss is helicoptering you or like there's a lot of like jealousy at work or envy, competition, it doesn't have to be work. It could also be in your personal life. It could be at home. There is this like struggle here. 
what people taking you for granted it could be your children taking you for granted and, and expecting you to pay for everything for them or something like this is the feeling of uh, you not being um, treated fairly huh. how can I have the best day possible transformation in reverse which is the death card which is resistance to change I feel like a lot of you here are um, experiencing maybe a um, a dark night of the soul. Let's say you're experiencing um, an obstacle, a blockage in your road right now. There's um, you're wanting to give so much to people, but you're realizing that then you don't have enough for yourself. Right now, I, I almost feel like spirit is coming in or your higher self is coming in saying, you know what, it's time to take time for you. It's enough time. It's time to stop depleting your energy, depleting your finances, depleting your um, creative expression, your uh, ability to um, make others happy, uh, your ability to bring things together in life but now it's time to just like, kind of step away today is a day to step away from it and claim your independence and claim that freedom and claim that self-worth of yours what's something to keep in mind today eight of wands eight of wands interesting energy and eight of wands that energy like a uh, fast moving energy but in this card, I always feel like it's not that fast. I feel like there's like that panda. I don't feel like he's very fast. So <laughs> I just feel like it's like a, an illuminated. So it's almost like shine your greatness. Today, we want you to step into your strength. Release this need for you to uh, take care of everyone else in your life. Re release this. Um, politely release people from taking away your money and your soul. <laughs> Maybe they're asking for a little death to your ego, a little death to your pride, and shine that light of yours. Today we want you to go inside and shine your true essence of who you are. And it's okay to feel like this and it's okay to do that. But today we forgive everyone around us and we forgive ourselves for having uh, depleted so much of our energy, given so much of ourselves to other people. But today we're going to forgive you and, and let it go and shine our light. I think it's a beautiful thing. And maybe like I said to pile four, I'm not sure who, or five, but do a list of gratitude and be grateful to uh, all the things that you have done in your life for yourself. Be grateful to you today. That's not selfish. That is actually beautiful. You need to be grateful to yourselves. I love you and I will see you tomorrow or another part of a card reading. I love you. Bye. Hello, pile number seven. And for those of you who picked the beautiful amethyst, let us see what your overall energy of the day is. Ooh, stag spirit, take the lead. So some of you are being asked to take a leadership role today. Maybe it's a work thing. It could be a relationship thing. It could be a friendship thing. It could be a project thing. It could be anything that you're doing in your current life right now. You're needing to step up the game. You're needing to lead and not follow. It could be a spiritual awakening journey. You're needing to step into your power. Look how powerful this she is. Or he is. Nice. All right. So the energy of this morning. Ten of wands. <laughs> okay. Ten of wands is usually an energy of the release of burdens. It's the end of a journey, a beginning of a new journey. So that's really beautiful, actually. I like this a lot. So... Today you're waking up in the morning because you've burnt all those lower dimensional energies, all these things that you don't need yesterday and the day before and last week. And today you are proudly standing with conviction saying, I have forgiven myself. I am ready to start 
fresh. Wow, so I, I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of work on your souls, on your mental, your physical. You could have done a lot of exercise and helped your physical body. You've also done a lot of, you're starting to drink a lot of water. You're eating more alkaline foods. I feel like there's this energy of you really taking care of yourself and you're proudly burning all of this away. Like you're forgiving it or you're letting it go. Wow, I, this is a really powerful card because of this take the lead. Feels very strong here. You're starting the morning very good. You're, you're feeling uh, confident. Well, I'm feeling confident for you. What should you be aware of today? Eight of Cups energy. Eight of Cups energy is this energy of you turning your back on something and going forward, going towards that ship, going to a new chapter in your life, bringing along your treasure chests of money or treasure or treasures or whatever that is close to your heart. So whatever this was here, you see you burning it and now you're moving forward. So there's a very interesting, a beautiful feeling here. Like, of weight being taken off of you, of like uh, setting yourself free from a relationship, from someone who's has been treating you badly, from uh, money issues, from uh, like a partnership, from um, setbacks in your life. You're like heading on to a new journey, whether it's an awakening journey, whether it's a um, on your own. You're claiming your independence on your own. Like you're stepping away from these energies that are keeping you down. Wow. So how can you have the best day po possible? Oh my God. Hierophant energy. Like take the lead. This is a Taurus card. If a Taurus is in your life, it's significant. But this feels like you're stepping away from traditions. You're stepping away from the status quo. You're, um, I really feel like some of you are leaving behind the old, leaving behind the, uh, what everyone thinks that you should do and you're moving into this new path and this new journey of life, this new awakening. It could be like you, you've also, um, quit a job. And you were like, yeah, I gotta do this. I gotta move to some, I gotta start a new job. And I feel really good about it. I'm standing in my power. I have, you're standing in your truth. It feels also, it could also, with the Hierophant here, it could be that you're, you've burnt all, you've burnt all the uh, worries, the, 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 the sadness, all the fears and the, all that in a relationship. You've, uh, you've worn out all like it's um you're at the end of the relationship you've you've moved away from a relationship that's what i'm trying to say so you've moved away from a relationship that was just um giving you grief it wasn't making you happy and you you're today you're taking that step forward or you're thinking about taking that step forward and um doing something for you it could be also some of you have left a relationship and you moved into a new relationship and you're going to get married <laughs> it's like the card is about that too i mean there's a lot of possibility here. let's see what to keep in mind today wow ace of fire ace of wands it's like a new path a new journey a new opportunity so whatever it is here that you have uh left behind or you burnt the bridges in the past week or months you're on this uh, amazing new adventure in your life and you've worked hard and now you're taking that lead in your life you're stepping outside of the uh, um, what you need to do and you're burning up something like it's something like it, it the 
Henna Fire and the Ace of Fire. These are uh, the completion card, the beginning card, right? So you've ended something and you've, you're starting. It feels really good. Whatever this is, honeys, you're, you're on the right path. You're starting something new. There's, some, there's something fresh coming in towards you. Today is that day that you need to, um, if you're um, thinking of starting a new project, then write it all down. If you're thinking of, of um, going one step further in a relationship, then today might be that day for you. If you are, I just feel, it feels very progressive. Wow, all right. Well, have a, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna have a good morning after this one, so. <laughs> Uh, harness this energy today it feels really good for you i love you and i'll see you tomorrow or i'll see you on another pick a card reading i love you